Hello everyone, my name is Kushi, I'm 17 and I'm from Birmingham. I'm here to interview Gemma to fulfil my role for the celebration at EY Foundation. I was previously a student on the EY Foundation programme and I think it's important to get Gemma's words out there because she's such a positive influence for EY Foundation as well as Benchmarks. What is one of your favourite quotes and values that you've been reciting recently and why do you think they're important? Through the three, if I can have three, three values that are important to me are, you know, fairness, I think any decision um, being leading or managing or working with people, most people can take most scenarios as long as they can see it to be fair. Joy, you know, I have to have fun. Having fun, laughing, being around people that emanate that joy is really, really important, which is yeah. why I love working with young people because yeah. you immediately um, light up the room. Um, and independence. Independence is something that I value really, really highly because independence is, I've done it for me and I'm doing it only for me, that's really, really important. It's yeah. my decision and, um, and something that I get, you know, pleasure and um, self-achievement, self-actualization I think is probably a really good word for. So, um, independence I think. Yeah. As a young person myself, I'm also a candidate in the work world. So what are some skills and main attributes that you look for when finding a candidate? It's really people's characters and behaviours. Mm -hmm. Can I imagine working with these people? Mm -hmm. Can we work in the good times, the bad times, in the mediocre times? Because all three exist when you're working together. Communication is key to everything. You can be great, um, have a great brain, but if you can never communicate those ideas or bring someone along with, along with that journey, those ideas are never going to come into reality, are they, really? Do you think my A-levels and GCSE grades really matter? Um, they do. It depends what time of your career do A levels and GCSEs matter to you? You know, obviously if you're moving on to a pathway of university, clearly they matter. They matter for you to get onto that next step. So I think it really depends on what journey you're taking. For me, I started in, straight into the working world. Yeah. Um, actually, I'd had a year, I was taking a year out to go to university. I got good A levels and that was my plan. Um, but I started working and quite liked the taste of work and was with a business at the time that really saw the value in me and just said, well actually, we could offer this for you if you carry on working. And, and that's the path that I took, yeah. which isn't right for everyone. So the point about whether A-levels and GCSEs are, are important, it, it really, really does depend. Are there particular pathways that help improve prospects of being hired in the work world today? I think the pathway that you took was fun fundamental. I think, you know, if you think about um, how that's elevated you amongst your peers, the other young individuals like you, um, I was, at the time when you were on that work replacement, I was talking to many people around the organisation that hadn't really experienced EY Foundation before, and we all concluded that what would we do in our uh, yeah. um, Easter half term, or any half term for that matter, and it's probably not put our hands up to do additional yeah. work which you guys all did, which really stood you um, from, from the masses, really. We need to bring youth into our business. You know, we can't have everyone retire and then there's no one left yeah. holding the keys <laughs> and looking after our business. Yeah. We do need that cycle of, of young um, talent coming to our business. So um, by doing that internship, we're, we're opening the doors, telling people like yourselves that you are welcome into our space. What do you think employers can do to become more diverse in the workplace? I think representation is really, really important. And, you know, it's a, you know, for bringing that diversity, inclusiveness into the workplace, it, it, representation is really, really key. Um, I think I know from myself being a female leader in the business. You know, we are still growing the female leadership cohort, and I know that um, one of the great privileges I have is I have a lot of women coming to approach me to say, "Well, you did it, so why can't I?" As a young female myself, I think it's important for us to be getting out there in the construction industry. So what is some advice that we should be aware of when joining the construction industry? Yeah, I think there's lots of advice for young females. I think for me, it's really to not see the difference, see yourself as anything different than anyone else that can yeah. contribute to this industry. Um, male, females, yeah, everyone has a contributing part to play. And I think, you know, we need differences to create a dynamic sector to, to challenge what we know and uh, be better so join me and come yeah. and come and join the party is what I'd say.